A little pup named Kicker Dog came into my life after I almost lost it all. Watch as we take this badass adventure van on the road trip of a lifetime. There were highs and there were lows. We pushed our limits, learned a lot, and met some incredible people along the way. But above all else, we had fun. Welcome to season two of the Tiny Home Adventure. After picking up Anton in Washington in episode three, we are finally headed to the Canadian border. I am so stressed out about being turned around at the border for whatever reason, I would be crushed if they didn't let us through. Guy gave us a little bit of a hard time, but let us through. Thank you, Canada. We're stoked to be heading to Alaska. Gonna go shred some big lines and ride some pow and make dreams come true. Yeah. Yeah. We are so psyched to have made it to Canada. Nothing can stop us now. Although we are a bit discouraged by the complete lack of snow, but decided to head up to Whitewater anyways. Whitewater is a resort near Nelson, British Columbia with a legendary reputation. After getting to the base, we were absolutely blown away by the amount of snow and psyched to put the split boards together and go for our first mission in Canada. Come here, kicker. He's snoring. <laughs> Are you gonna shred? Sick day up at uh Whitewater Resort in British Columbia, who showed up. Didn't look like there was much snow down low and drove up just to see. And uh, hiked all day with this guy and he shredded the most badass line of his life. And I'm you know, just trying to give him a little break and hike out with him. A little sack of potatoes. After a first epic tour in Canada, we headed north towards Revelstoke. Getting to Revelstoke requires a ferry crossing, which was super cool as I'd never been on a ferry before. As we were crossing this massive lake, this super friendly guy named Daryl started to chat us up. He invited to take us snowmobiling if we were in his area, but we had plans to go to Revelstoke. Once arriving at Revelstoke, we met two Germans who were living out of a truck camper and working at Revelstoke for the season. We learned that there hadn't been much snow in the last few weeks, so we decided to head to Sycamuse and take Daryl up on his offer. In all honesty, I wasn't quite sure what to think of him initially, because people in the States typically are not nearly this friendly, but he ended up being a super solid guy and total legend. We did a beacon drill a couple days ago. So you got both got beacons and... Yep. Yeah. 
Neither Anton or I had much experience on a sled, and both had never ridden doubles. Eventually, we figured it out and made it to this incredible zone. Daryl told us about how he had lost a close friend in an avalanche less than a week ago in the same zone. He had invited us out to take a more mellow day and reconnect. You know, I needed some time up here. Yeah. Uh, I explained to you that, you know, we had a legend, you know, uh, we lost him last week in, a, in an avalanche and uh, yeah. I needed just to get back and spend some quality time with nature and, uh, and I thought who better to do it with than, than you guys. It also turns out Daryl had been the mayor of Sycamus the previous term. We all do crazy things, right? So uh, it, it was my chance to try to help the community out, and uh, sure. And uh, so it, it was, you know, a, a great experience, and I enjoyed doing it. But I, I really had to focus on spending some time in the backcountry. Yeah. The people you meet on these kind of adventures is wild. Daryl was Thanks, such man. a legend. <laughs> Thank you all so much for the love and support. If you'd like to keep up with our latest endeavors, follow us on Instagram at Andrew underscore underscore Muse. Thanks for watching.